sauce. That's good. Curry. Soup curry. So it's good. Jamron curry, deer meat. I'm making suki yaki. Oh, I don't know how I do it. But every time I plan one of these trips, I manage to find some gnarly weather. Japan is experiencing a once in a decade cold snap for the next few days. And I'm fortunate enough to be camping in the back of a land cruiser during it. Honestly, wouldn't want it any other way. Today we have really high winds here in Shihoro. I am getting hungry though, so I'm gonna grab a snack. All right, well, something crazy <clears throat> just happened. I bought a bear statue. That's right, I stopped for lunch and I found this bear statue <laughs> for 4,000 yen. And I honestly couldn't pass it up because it's so cool. Look at this thing. Like, how is this 4,000 yen? For those of you that don't know, 4,000 yen is like 30 bucks. So definitely couldn't pass that up. I'm at a shipping station right now. We're gonna see if we can't figure out how to get this thing home. Do you do international shipping to America? America? Hi. Oh, we got it done. <laughs> I can't believe we did it. What a funny day. Okay. I mean, when you find a Japanese bear statue for 4,000 yen, you can't, you can't say no. So I have about 11 minutes left in my two hour drive to Tashikaga. And I'm actually gonna see if I can rent a snowmobile and take it out on the lake. How, how do I rent the snowmobile? Uh, uh, I don't know how I'm... Well, we are driving on the ice here in Japan. I see a lot of bigger cars over there, so hopefully this is all right. Oh, we're good. There's a bunch of land cruisers here. How are you? Hi. Um, I want to ride a snowmobile. A snowmobile? Hi. How long does 7,000 meters take one hour 15 to 20 minutes hi thank you it's cold one oh i need another layer i'm gonna layer up the best i can because it is cold out today it is very chilly why i'm deciding to do this today because i don't have that much longer left in my trip unfortunately and this sounds like a lot of fun Right, you walk into a porta potty and you see that. What are you doing? That looks like a death trap. <laughs> okay, let's go find our snowmobile. Oh, this 
wind! Insane, dude. All right. Crank that heat, come on, boy. The whole ride probably only took like, mm, maybe 10 minutes. But after having my hand out in the open and taking pictures for a little bit, it's, uh, it's cold. All right, let's warm back up for a little bit. Let's see if we can't find uh, something else cool or uh, go find our campsite. Look at that mountain, though. I don't know how well you can see it while I was riding, but absolutely gorgeous scenery here. All right, bye frozen land. See you, bye lake. So sick. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a little bit of break from the chaos to thank our sponsor of today's video, the best creator in laptops, MSI. I've decided to partner up with MSI and try out their creator laptop. This one here is the Z16P and it's built different than other MSI gaming laptops because this one's made for creators. This laptop features a brand new unibody design with CNC aluminum chassis and a lunar gray color. While I've been traveling, I've noticed that this laptop has a large battery capacity. It also has Wi-Fi 6E, which for me, this laptop is my mobile creative studio. It helps to know that when I'm using MSI, I'm getting the latest technologies. This computer features an i7 Intel Core processor. You can go all the way up to an i9, and it also has a NVIDIA GeForce RTX Studio graphics card, which gives me some of the best graphics in the game. The Creator Z16P ensures that a creator can smoothly edit and super fastly edit up to 8K HDR raw video, which is some other features that you might like, 16 to 10 display, and it also has true pixel display, which just means that it makes a crystal clear image. Not only is the display beautiful, but it's also compatible with the MSI touch pen. You can draw, edit pictures, really do anything that you can imagine you do with a digital pen. Let's explore. So, 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 so. It's good? Curry. Soup curry? So, it's good. Hi. They say that the storm that's here is the worst in a decade. Is it true? Hi. Hi. It's too cold. So, too cold. So cold. Okay. I will enjoy my camping tonight. So, <laughs> have a nice time. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you. Well, there you have it. There's confirmation from a local. This is the worst storm that's been here in a decade, so. All right, we need to find some soup curry. Soup curry. Uh, soup curry? Soup curry. Soup curry. Soup curry. Arigato. Arigato. Which do you recommend? Recommend. Hi. This one? Yeah, hi. One. Hi. I turned my phone off in that first, uh, in that first store because I realized there was a sign that said no photos. Um, but there was a lot of bear sculptures with salmon in their mouths, but they were 10 to even 100 times the price that I paid for mine. Good score. Jemron curry, deer meat, rice, and veggies, and tea. Not a freaking chance. So good. So right now I'm in Ainu village. Um, lots of traditional artwork here, fun shops, and soup curry. It's been on my list for a long while now in Hokkaido, and I finally got to try it. It was delicious. I had mine with deer meat. Got an hour drive left, so better knock that out before it gets too dark. Oh. 
I was lucky enough to find a grocery store that's open. Um, this place closes in about 30 minutes, so I gotta grab some supplies and get out of here. Barely made it. We got the goods. They're literally closing up the doors right now as we speak. Yeah, living out of this thing for as long as I have been, uh, it's been getting a little messy. So we're gonna get to the campsite, get things situated, and get cooking. Only got 10 minutes until I get to the site. Hi. How are you? Hi. I don't drink beer, sorry. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much though. Arigato All right. Thank you. We've got all the window curtains on. We've got the back somewhat organized. It's time to slide back there and start cooking. Cooking. Tonight I'm making suki yaki well truck campers version of sukiyaki i think i bought everything correct Bruh. also they didn't have green onions so i bought a giant package of dehydrated vegetables first things first we uh prep some veggies I feel like this is a foreign object to me right now. This knife is not. Oh, we got it done. We got the mushroom shell. Okay, we're looking good. I don't even really like tofu. Why'd I buy this? God's nectar. Sesame oil. Crack window. The store I went to didn't have beef. So we got pork. It's been really fun being in Japan, like seeing all the different types of ingredients that I can cook with. Um, it'd be a lot more cool if I could understand what half of them said, but even just being in the supermarket and seeing like all the things that I can't buy back home is exciting to me. However, this meal, I feel like you could get by with making it back home in the States. I mean, there's really nothing super crazy in here. Besides the special sauce, which you can make from scratch if you want. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, we're gonna add some water to this bad boy. I gotta give credit where credit's due. Uh, this recipe was given to me by Mariko. If you remember her from my camping video a couple weeks ago, she suggested this over Twitter. She was like, hey, you should make this meal. So here I am. Now this is usually served over rice, um, but with only having one burner, 
I was hoping that the market I was gonna stop at was gonna have already cooked rice, like most of the markets I've stopped at, but we struck out. So I might try to use this udon that I have left over. And our noodle. I am attempting to cook my udon in the same pot as my soup with just boiling water. So we're gonna see <laughs> if that's smart or stupid. It looks stupid, but if it works, it's not. Currently it is negative 13 here in Tasuri. I have a sleeping bag that's rated for negative 10, I believe. So should be all right. Fingers crossed there is absolutely no heat inside of this truck once I cut the engine off. Um, what I'm cooking right now, I just have the thing at idle, so I can have have a little bit of heat going, but of course I don't want to sleep with the truck running all night. We got this little window cracked right here. These back ones are cracked too. Sure beats cooking outside though, that's for sure. Honestly, not bad. It's looking pretty, pretty all right. We keep that going for a little bit. Might be onto something. Tossing this out. I'm gonna take the socks off. I'm gonna put them on as mitts. And then we're gonna pour some of that hot broth in there. Okay, okay. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to taste like, but it tastes good, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I wouldn't lie to you. And does that really look like it would taste bad? It turned out great. That's good. DJ, run me up another serving. It's like, hang on, hold that thought. I don't know, it's like mellowly sweet and savory. I do kind of wish I had steamed rice because you guys are probably getting sick of watching me eat udon. But udon's just easy, man. It's nice for when you're camping, especially in the cold. Lord knows I've definitely been eating a lot of it lately. I might start making this at home. Like, it's so good. I'm telling you, dog. That is not a sucky yaki. That's a suki yaki. Play what suckies is headroom, huh? You know the best part is no tofu, but that tofurkey stuff, the fake the fake tofu turkey, y'all can keep that. Goji so simadista. Oh my god! Get these boys back on. I do have this electric blanket. Um, I haven't used it yet, but maybe you'll see what this thing's all about tonight. Yeah, let's do it, why not? Can you put it under me, maybe? Can you put it in the bag? I don't know. I better relax, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sweat if I do too much right now. See you in two hours when I'm waking up uncomfortable. All right, I love you. Good morning. You guys want to see something crazy? You remember those YouTube videos back in the day of people making water freeze instantly? I finally learned their magic. Frozen? How cool is that? <laughs> How cold is it? Huh. Negative 15. Where's my pants? Okay. Wow. Look at this. I knew it was cold. I didn't know it was that cold. Japan's been amazing. Seriously, I uh, 
I'm already trying to think of ways that I can get myself back here, but I've said it before. I hope you guys are enjoying this content because I'm really enjoying being out here. You know, this international stuff could be a nice fun mix up for both of us. So cheers. As always, until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.